And now, ladies and gentlemen, the director ultimate pride of Essex and Wales, recognising exceptional adults who help others and inspire. And to make the presentations, please welcome Senior Director of the Director UK Limited, Martin Sorey. Well, the first to be highly commended in this category is Andrew Clark, a volunteer of the Essex Community Foundation. Now, the foundation is a registered charity and the largest independent grant provider for grassroots charitable organisations in Essex. Now, Andrew joined 17 years ago to help as a volunteer grants assessor, a task for which he was well suited to his experience as a director of Barclays Bank. Well, Andrew donates three whole days a week. That equates to 17 years, 2,346 days, or in other words, 20,000 hours. The Foundation have nominated Andrew themselves. The reason they say is not only for his significant commitment and dedication, all the quality of his volunteering, but because of the support he offers to the hundreds of voluntary and community groups that apply for funding. So, there you have it. A man who works for nothing and organises funds for those who desperately need them. We thought he thoroughly deserved to be highly commended. Highly commended in the Director, Pride of Essex, Ultimate Award. Please welcome Andrew Clark. really understood by many. In doing so, his crusade has become an inspiration to other sufferers and an example of how activity can add lasting benefits. He'd been living with chronic fatigue, ME, for some time before he was finally diagnosed in 2011. Well, this hidden disability caused exhaustion, poor concentration, sleeping problems and short-term memory loss. But due to his medical condition, he had to give up a successful corporate career. This hit him really hard. But with the help of medical professionals, Richard worked to improve and manage his condition by following a program that includes exercise and emphasises the need for activities that reduce stress alongside social activity. Richard is a former Karate British champion. And by returning to karate training, He's managed to improve his health, and indeed that of others. His wife Jane, who nominated him, says he is 100% committed to inspiring people in the community, whether or not physically or mentally disabled, to get involved in sport and physical activity opportunities in Essex. The Director Ultimate Award highly commend Richard Naylor Jones. Next to my Lee Polfreman is a station commander in the fire service. He's been nominated by one of his firemen, James Chambers. In December 2014, while attending a fire at a workshop, an acetylene cylinder exploded within 12 feet of where James was standing. He lost his hearing completely. Lee was constantly in touch by visit and telephone to his wife, Vicky. James has bravely told us that during those dark days, 
He was so consumed with depression and anger that on more than one occasion he was attempted to take his own life. Lee was ever present, often taking the brunt of James's anger. James was diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Lee continued to visit outside of work time, often bringing small gifts for their six-year-old daughter. James says, thankfully, I'm better now. Lee supported and facilitated my return to work as a full-time firefighter. And now my family is beginning to repair itself. Without the selfless action of Lee, I probably wouldn't be here at all. Vicky and I will always remain in his debt. For over two years, he's provided support, containment, and friendship. He is, and always will be, our ultimate hero. The director, Pride of Essex, ultimate award, highly commend, station commander, Lee Paul Freeman. Physiotherapy. 
He is so proud. He is so proud that he tells other children with similar disabilities to keep going, be strong, and keep pushing. He's a very inspirational boy. Now, the other nomination, which is twinned with him, is Glenn Tamplin, who was originally nominated for an Unsung Hero Award. Glenn is a successful entrepreneur and businessman. He began his career funding AGP Steel in 2002 in a backyard. That's where it all started. The business grew sufficiently for them to move to a purpose-built factory and office facility in Romford. In December 2016, he bought Billericay Town Football Club. What is not necessarily well known is that Glenn became a born-again Christian and often turned his attention to helping people he found with problems. The success he emanated within his football was to spill over on many occasions. One such occasion was when he met another man named Glenn, Harry Parker's father, who was bucket collecting with his wife Danielle and his daughter Mia at a local football match. Well, that meeting was to change the lives of the whole Parker family. As you've heard, Glenn Tampin put up the total balance of the money that they needed, and of course, that meant, of course, that the chairman of Billy Ricky was able to walk Harry onto the pitch and introduce him to the fans before the match. He has since erected a purpose-built, user-friendly stand for disabled fans who are regularly treated not only to the match, but also to a meal. He named the stand Harry Parker Stand. There are many stories of this man's kindness and generosity, none more inspiring than when combined with the courage of young Harry Parker and what they've achieved together. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge welcome to the winners of the Director Pride of Essex Ultimate Award, Glenn Tampling and Harry Parker. <laughs> 